So before this video starts, if you guys are new to the channel and you guys like my team content, I upload pretty much two my team videos every single day. Remember to subscribe. We are so close to 30,000 subscribers and we are trying to hit that goal by NBA 2K18, which is like the middle of September. So anyway, now let's get on to the video. What is going on guys, DBG here and in this video we are going to be doing a squad of the best shooters in the NBA. And I know there's a lot of ways to look at this, you can look at 3 point percentage, you can do it just by opinion which a lot of people would do, but I'm going to do it based on 3 pointers made. Obviously this is not the most accurate way of doing it, but there's a very, very few other ways to do it. Obviously I can do it by percentage, but that kind of skews it a little bit because Curry wouldn't be on the list and Curry is obviously the best shooter in basketball. And also I'm not doing this based on my opinion because if I did the comment section would kill me so this is solely based on three pointers made in the 2016 2017 and NBA season at the point guard we have got Stephen Curry Curry is the greatest shooter ever there's no question about that he is the greatest shooter ever comes with four Hall of Fame badges and a 99 open shot three and the two we have got his running mate it is a Ruby and it's Clay Thompson Hey, Thompson scored the most threes of any two guard and is an absolutely incredible shooter. 37 points in a quarter a couple of years ago and 60 points while only having the ball in his hands for like 90 seconds this year. The small forward who hit the most three pointers was another all star and it's Paul George. Paul George will play very well next to Russell Westbrook for that reason because he can shoot the ball because he can play off the ball really well and he's just a great all around player. His defense isn't the same as it was before the injury but he's still an incredible player. At the four we have actually got a card that I can only afford a silver card because I just, like, I literally can't even afford his gold right now. And it's Ryan Anderson. His, basically all his cards are the exact same, do absolutely nothing except shoot, so it doesn't really matter what version of my I use. Ryan Anderson led the league in three points made from power forward position. And the leader in, from the center position is a ruby card. And it's Brooke Lopez. This season, Brooke Lopez really stepped out his range and started shooting threes. And actually shot them at quite a high rate. And he made 1.8 per game or something? On the bench of the one, we have got a point guard from the Boston Celtics, averaged 28.9 points per game, and it is Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah Thomas hit the second most threes in the point guard position. From the two guard is the three point contest winner, and I only can again, I can only afford his goal card, and it's Eric Gordon. Again, every version of Eric Gordon is the same thing, just some shoot slightly better than the others. And I can't afford his diamond, I think this card is basically the exact same as a sapphire. And also his emerald is like 20k, so that's very expensive. At the three, we've got a player who was recently signed for the LA Clippers. We don't know when he's going to make his debut because of the Clippers curse. He broke his hand punching someone in the international game and it's Danilo Gallinari. Gallinari hit the second most threes in small forward position. From the power forward position is a guy who plays for the Cleveland Cavaliers. One of the kind of like most underrated players in the NBA and overrated at the same time. Kevin Love is a star. Not a superstar, a star. If Cleveland trade him for Carmelo Anthony, they get no better. He's an extremely important part and was an extremely important part of them winning in 2016. He's nowhere near as bad as people who hate him say, but he's not a superstar like others say. He's simultaneously one of the most overrated and underrated players in the NBA. And at the five, we have got a diamond card who's just started shooting threes this year as well, and it's Marc Gasol. The fact that these two guys and players like Jokic and DeMarcus Cousins are starting to shoot threes, the center position is adapting. Everyone seems to be able to shoot the ball now. If only Rudy Gobert gets a three-point shot, he'd be the best center in basketball. And last three are guys who were up near the top of the list that just weren't in this team. First of all, we got James Harden, who was like eighth or ninth in most three-pointers made. We've also got the third on the point guard list. And where is he? It is Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry, I only have his Emerald card because I don't plan playing him. And there's no point buying his diamond just to sit him on a bench. And last, we have got a player that is an Amethyst. And it's Bradley Beal, who seems to be in a lot of these squads. And seems to be the 13th man not playing in a lot of these squads. So anyway, now let's get on to the game. Okay, we're playing a God Squad. We're playing against the Kevin Durant with Limitless Range. Oh, damn. This is going to be tough. Why is it that every time I, I do a challenge like this, I come up against a God Squad, and when I use a God Squad myself, I come up against a terrible team? Why is that? Why can't it just be the opposite? All right, his bench, he's got... Ugh, that, like, we have no chance. Like, we have absolutely no chance in this game. Like, Curry gets hot. Like, this is GG, like. It's a layup. Oh my god, he got swatted. We nearly had the lead. How is Curry cold already? How is Curry cold already? He got blocked once. 
Okay, easy. Okay, no point going for the layup. Green light. Let's go. Okay, Curry's not gold anymore. I'll take that. I'm happy with that. Or pull up. Let's go, Clay. Come on, Clay. I had the full way bar. Like, we honestly, we can't afford to miss any shots in this game with the team he has. And he's gone and given, gotten the lead. That's good as well. Oh, he blew it. And, of course, of all people, J.R. Smith gets the board. Stand in his way. Stand in his way. Just let him use his size. Like, if Jack bullies us inside, there's nothing we can do. Oh, easy in the corner. Full white bar. Clay, please make a shot. And, oh, Ryan Anderson. But, like, how did Clay miss that shot? Okay, just let Shaq bully me inside. Like, I'd rather him take a tough shot with Shaq than uh, an easy layup with someone else. Or an easy open three. And Brook Lopez is probably going to tie the game right here. It's two for two, tie game. Okay, we're going to struggle on defense with little Isaiah Thomas in there, but especially because he's got a postal point guard. Hopefully he doesn't abuse that. Nope, he's abusing it. And he's hit the three with J.R. Smith. Yeah, this guy can play. He's not terrible. Like, he's not just going to let me uh, get away with using a five foot nine point guard. Easy in the corner. Oh, that's an awkward release. That is a definitely a different release to a silver card. I'm probably saying that and it's probably the exact same, but that feels very different. Dive at him, dive at him, dive at him. That's two anyway. Difficult shots, Hall of Fame. Okay, thank God Shaq just threw me on the ground with Kevin Love. That's two free points. What? That's a, that's a loose ball fell. That's free throws, isn't it? It's open. Please, that's full white bar. Hit a three-point shot. Like, we are it's, we are the team of the best three-point shooters. Why can't we shoot the ball? We can do everything but shoot the ball. Like, we're actually playing an overall good game. We're doing everything well, except what this team is built for. Shooting the ball. Let him go at me with Shaq. Just, just keep backing off. Just keep backing off. I'll let him go at me with Shaq. Just a contested layup. I don't care if he jams on me. If he jams it on me, there's nothing I can do. Like, there's nothing I can do there. But I'd rather that go in one out every four times in a wide open three coming out of that offense. Oh, you're terrible. Isaiah Thomas in this game is probably the worst player I've ever used. Like, I would take some bronzes over this card. What was that? Like, as you can see from the shot bar, that was not a shot. Literally, I did not, I tapped the bar for a fake. Oh my god. Lay that in hard. Okay, goaltend? No. And we just ran through J.R. Smith right there. I'm just going to pretend like that's not flawed game mechanics. And he blew a dunk. Let's go, let's push it. We need to get a shooter open on our wing. Okay, it's so deep. Why did you spot up there? Okay, he hit it anyway. I'll... I'll take it back. I'll let him off with spotting up at a ridiculous spot right there. Thanks to Hall of Fame Dimer. Oh, it's open. Put that up. No, Brook Lopez. That was probably one of the biggest shots, if not the biggest shot in the match right there. Five. We're nowhere near him. That's good as well. Yep, that was definitely the biggest shot in the match for Brook Lopez right there. I was making a six-point game. That was 12. That was a six-point swing. And now he's just... He's just taking over this game. Like we're getting, we're going to get like absolutely blown out. Uh, my patience is gone. I genuinely don't want to play this game anymore. Um, there's no chance of me coming back. He knows for a fact he's going to win, and this is just going to be a blowout. Like, how do we not get that ball? Every it's just one of those games where everything's going right for him, and nothing is going right for us. Twenty six points down. We were nine down with an open shot to go six down to start the quarter. We're now down 26 points three minutes later. Okay, we're down 26 points. Like, it's an almost impossible task. And realistically, with the way I'm going to go out in this quarter, I'm probably going to lose by 50. But again, as I say all the time, I'd rather lose by 50 going to win than lose by 20 trying to keep it winning 20. Man, if he's hitting free throws and the hack of Shaq's not, not even going to work. Man, he's hitting free throws with Shaq, like... How are we meant to compete with this? He's in free throws with Shaq. Curry, what are you doing? Like, where are you going, Curry? Like, what advantage is it for you to do what you just did there? You just stood in the short corner. Let's go, Hart. Nice one. Why didn't we just go inside with Gasol? He's killing them. Like, he's absolutely killing them inside. Let's go, just take him inside. 
Why didn't I just keep going inside for this entire game? It's literally the only thing that's worked. Why didn't I just go to it for the whole game? But that's all good in hindsight. We win the fourth quarter or we tie the fourth quarter if he doesn't score here. So anyway, let's take a look at the team comparison. He shot 61%, 50 from three. We shot 24% from three with a three point shooting team. 47% from the field. Let's look at the box score. Curry went, did all right, two of five and three, not terrible. Marcus Gasol, six of seven, did really well. Why I didn't go to Marcus Gasol more, I don't know. Curry was like the main catalyst for us losing, minus 21. Minus 18 for our starters. Our bench did okay, Bradley Beal actually had a plus four. Um, actually no, our bench didn't do that well, to be honest, like minus 10 for Eric Gordon. But yeah, Marcus Gasol was the only person who did relatively well in that game. I'm not going to count Curry's 50% as relatively well, but Gasol was quite good. So anyway, that's the video. This is a team of players who made the most three-point shots last season. And anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.